Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Beast Pokeballer here as always coming at you guys with the next live Wi-Fi battle on the channel. Uh, I decided to, to like do a non-NPA Wi-Fi battle today. I don't know what drove me to do that, uh, but that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm pretty excited. We're battling a fellow PokeTuber named Sheer Force. He's a really awesome guy. I've been sub to him for a while. Uh, I think he's really close to 300 subscribers, so you can go check the links in the description uh, and subscribe to him and follow him on Twitter too. He's a really cool guy, like I said. Uh, so yeah, I crafted a really cool OU team, OU battle by the way, featuring one of the Megas that I actually featured in my last top 5 video. Now click the annotation on the screen right now if you want to see that, but it's actually Mega Pinsir. Now, I'm not going to spoil what number Mega Pinsir was on the list, but I, I think it's underrated a lot, and I think it's really good, and if played right, it can destroy in battle. So I, I was just really wanted to use it, so I made this really cool team featuring a Latias, a Mega Pinsir, uh, the Heatran, which is of course, you know, backup for the uh, Talonflame. We have Rotom W, we have Caesar, and lastly we have Raikou. So that's the team. I'm gonna pick that. I'm gonna go grab my phone. So quick cut! Okay, I'm back. I needed to grab my phone so I could actually take a picture of his team. So uh, let me turn my phone on the airplane mode so we don't get no notifications. But he's got himself. Oh, yo! I actually have a team just similar to this that I was gonna bring. Uh, he has a Manaphy and Mega Charizard X team. Now I have a team literally the exact same, just with one difference that I was actually thinking about bringing. Uh, it has Superior instead of Chestnut. So I actually know how this team works with the Sand Rush. Uh, his lead is most likely gonna be that Hit Poudon, which means that Rinse and Repeat is a really good lead for us. So I'm gonna lead with Rinse and Repeat. Um, and I can just kind of either straight up go for the burn or straight up go for like the hydro pump. Um, I feel like he'll switch in all honesty. I'm probably just going to go for the hydro pump just to be safe. If he leads with hip out on, you know, you never know what people are going to lead with. That's just my prediction right now. Anyways, he's going to lead up to the Charizard actually, which is pretty good lead for us. Actually a really good lead for us. This is Resto Chesto set. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have no reason not to just go ahead and Hydro Pump here. Though he actually, like he'll probably switch. Would it be a huge awesome prediction to Volt Switch here if he goes into, you know, the Tornadus? He, he might, he's probably gonna go into Chestnut here actually. I could risk getting over the Will-O-Wisp. I really don't think he's gonna stay in. Uh, however, I'll just Volt Switch since I think it's the safest play right now. He's gonna stay in actually. Does he, he doesn't have Mold. Oh, is he Mega Charizard? No, he's Mega Charizard X. Okay, if he was Y, that would have been scary. But uh, looking at his team, I was pretty sure that was X. I don't know why he actually stayed in. He's going to Dragon Dance. Like, that's pretty scary. Um, if I had him, I probably would have switched there. Now we get huge priority here. Uh, we're going to Volt Switch out. Obviously. Now, what do I want to go into here? We definitely don't want to get Dragon Dance set up, that's for sure. All right. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, Rotom was definitely our best switch. Um, okay. Uh, I can go in to Diego, possibly. But then I feel like Diego will die right away. How useful is Diego to his team? Helps out a lot with Manaphy, not gonna lie. It actually helps a ton. Ah. Uh, Oh, it's a pretty bad prediction. Or a pretty bad start, I should say. I wish I didn't Volt Switch. Um, I guess we'll go into Diego and Volt Switch. I'm going to Volt Switch. We should still be faster because we're Scarfed. Um, but there's a chance we might not be. Uh, we'll see right here. Either way, I'm going to go back into Rotom. So we'll see what he does. We do outspeed again. Getting off another Volt Switch. So we'll be able to go back into Rotom. Our main defensive tank that will be able to wall his Charizard pretty nicely. He most likely went for the Earthquake. I don't see what else he would go for. Possibly a Dragon Claw. Either way, we should be able to eat it pretty nicely. Yes, he goes for the Dragon Claw here. Now, Tough Claw's boosted. I still am pretty afraid. Yeah, that, uh, oh, that's a 2 a KO, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so I guess Rotom's dead. I guess I'll rest just in case something happens. So the position that we're in is quite awful, not gonna lie. Um, but I don't think it's over yet. I can go back into Diego and I can Shadow Ball here, which should do a good amount of damage. I don't think it'll be enough to kill though. 
However, I guess we'll have to see. That is unfortunate to lose Rotom that fast. But yeah, I'll go for the Shadow Ball. Didn't expect the straight up setup, I'm not gonna lie. Didn't expect that at all. However, Shadow Ball is gonna go off. We're gonna die if this doesn't kill, and oh god, that's not even close. He's gonna Dragon Dance again? Is he, he might be, he's probably faster now, right? Yeah. We are timid, but I think he's faster. Um, if we survive, that'll be good. He's gonna roost here. Okay. Special defense drop, maybe. I mean, now we know that he's faster too, which is immediately awful. I just have to stay in and shadow ball, really. He's gonna roost again. Yep. Ugh. Bad position. Mega Charizard is very good. So, we'll shadow ball once again. Crit, special defense drop, something. Nothing, okay. Well, this is where we're dead. Um. We know that he's probably going to Dragon Claw. I mean, I guess I can go into Pompeii. See what he can do. Because, you know, having this thing to just outspeed... Not outspeed, but, you know, like I said, Raikou is really important in this game. In this matchup. He's going to Dragon Claw. Obviously, we'll be able to eat that. I don't know how, by how much. Even that's a two-hit KO. That's insane. Well, uh... I guess I'll just Earth Power... Nothing better to do, really. He's gonna try and call again. Maybe if he gets like a low roll, we can live it. Earth power. Oh god, I think that just stopped the Charizard sweep. So that was a close one right there. But we got out his Mega Charizard, which was, dear lord, insanely scary. And we were able to preserve Raikou as well. So he comes into Moto Moto, which is gonna be his Hip Hop Atas. Um, at this point, we're dead. So I have no problem setting up my own rocks here. I uh, don't. He doesn't have anything to get rid of rocks. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna set up my own rocks here. I have no problem doing that. Bam. Unfortunately, Rotom was a pretty big counter to this guy, and he's gone. Um, but now we could at least go for a lava plume and hope for a burn. Obviously, we're not gonna be able, we're not gonna be taken out. Um, we're not going to be taken out by like an earthquake or anything. So, but we do lose our uh, Heatran, which is our Talonflame counter. Luckily for us, he doesn't have a Talonflame, so it's whatever. He's just going to Earthquake here. Um, critical hit, which is pretty nice. He's going to actually Roar, which means next time we come back in, we're dead. It's going to go into Dan. Now, that's quite possibly the worst thing it could have gone into, because when we take Rock's damage... But can he really hurt us? He might have Fire Fang, actually. So I don't want to risk it. What I'm going to do is... This thing's hard for us to hit. What I'm going to do is go into Pompeii and just take the Rock's damage and die. Pompeii had nothing to save him anymore. He's kind of just gone. Don't want to risk anything badly. So yeah, Pompeii is down. Uh, remember guys, if you enjoyed this battle, remember to leave a like, or are enjoying it. It's not over yet. He's gonna roar again. That's cool. So what I'm gonna do now is go into Latias. I, oh no. Hmm. Actually yeah, Latias is definitely the thing to go in here. I can just drop a Draco real quick. And uh, even if he wants to go into his, like, Sandrush dude, should do a good amount of damage. I could actually clear the rocks, but... I feel like that's not worth it at the moment. So yeah, I'm just going to drop the Draco. He's probably going to go into his uh, Sandrush guy. Uh, what's his name? Excadrill. Probably going to go into Excadrill. Yeah, withdraw. So it's okay to see that thing come out. He's going to go Con Air and... No, he's going to go... Okay, that makes sense too. This is most likely uh, going to be Assault Tested. So either way, this Draco Meteor does a ton of damage. Enough to where I think a Psychic can take him out. I don't know if we're faster. Let me look up his speed real quick. Uh, what's the name? Tornadus. Tornadus. Ugh, I spelled it so wrong. Um, his speed is going to be... One eleven, and I'm pretty sure Latias is... One, oh, no, no, we need to go to Tornadus there. And I don't know if their stats... I think, yeah, 121. I think we're 115. So, he is going to be able to outspeed. So, he's going to U-turn or knock off here. 
I'm gonna assume he's gonna go for the knockoff. Or possibly the roost. Probably the U-turn. He has regenerator, so going for the U-turn here is actually by far his smartest idea. I don't want to go into Dan. I'll go into I'll go into Slick. I'll go into Slick, aka Slick Caesar. Uh, young Eddie. <laughs> I'll go into Young Eddie to uh, eat up the U-turn that he's gonna throw. Obviously. Yep. There, there's the U-turn. Now he has the switch into what Manaphy. Yeah, I'll probably go into Manaphy here. I can see that for sure. Manaphy is a hard thing to counter. But Raikou is enough to do it. So as long as we save Raikou, we can take out his Manaphy. So we'll just wait and see what he throws out next. It's going to be the Excadrill. Um, and I think I have Superpower. Do I? Let me see. I might not. I might only have Knockoff. Uh, Sandstorm subsides, which is good. Doesn't really help too much right now, but in general is a good thing. Do we have Superpower? I don't. I have Knockoff, though. I honestly can go for Swords Dance knockoff. Like, can he do it? KO me with. He doesn't get Fire Punch. We know that any, like, Sash or whatever is broken. He might Rapid Spin. I'll Swords Dance. Let's see what he can do. He's, yeah, he's gonna Rapid Spin. Uh, so, one thing that, you know, Swords Dancing Caesar can do is sweep. Um, ask my friend Tabes about that one. <laughs> Shots fired. Nah, but Tabes is a great guy. But uh, the other day I, I swept him with a plus six bullet punch. Um, I'm just gonna knock off here. He's either gonna switch or something. Nothing wants to take a knockoff. It should be able to KO anything except it'll, it'll definitely not be enough to KO his. Yeah. What's Moto Moto? This is the. Uh, two of these can probably, maybe. But now he gets the sand back up too, which is definitely annoying. A knockoff and a bullet punch, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. I don't know, it'll be close. What's my last move? Swords Dance? I think it's Roost. And he probably has Fire Fang. Alright, okay, well... At least we got his leftovers away. So is Bullet Punch. Uh, yeah, he can just go into his Chestnut now, which should be able to wall me pretty easily. Chestnut's scary. Latias can take it, though. It's probably a Salt Dust, dude. Also, a quick attack can one-hit KO it real quick. Also, I, you know, I really don't think it can touch me too much. What does he get? Like, what? Yeah, it can't really touch me. I, He's probably immune to... Does bullet proof, like, are you immune to bullet punch? I don't know. I, like, don't even want to risk it. This is going to be his Excadrill again, which is faster now. But I, I don't think it can KO us still. So I'll just bullet punch again. No! Oh, I meant to... That was a misclick. I meant to knock off. That still does a lot. Air balloon popped at least. Earthquake's gonna go off. Definitely not enough to KO. Almost enough to KO. Gets a critical hit. That's nice. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So now we have to... Okay, it's like either we risk it. Because like we know he's super fast right now. We know that. 100%. I'm gonna bullet punch so I can come in and hit power ice. Or shadow ball and take, it, take him out with my Raikou, and that gets away, like, his fastest threat is that- OH, WE ACTUALLY GET THE KO! What? Did not expect that one. And so we're not gonna take any Sandstorm damage. I didn't expect, to, expect us to get the KO right there. Now, the knockoff would've been a much safer play, in all honesty, uh, but it ended up working out for us. Is Hippowdon still alive? I don't remember. By the way, Slick is putting in the work. He's gonna go into his Manaphy now, and yeah, that should be game over for, uh, Eddie here. Um, I can just bullet punch to get some damage off. He's, he might tail glow. I could sword stance. Is that worth it? I mean, because will bullet punch do anything to begin with? I don't see why he would risk that. Maybe I'll go for knockoff just for the lulls. You know? Let me see if a thunderbolt from my Raikou can actually take him out. Let me calc that real quick. So, Raikou. Um, OU. I mean, I don't know why no one runs Scarfed, but you know, whatever. Oh, I guess only I run Scarf for IQ. Um, level 50, max special attack. Yes, max special attack, Tim and Nature, Thunderbolt against Manaphy. OU Tail Glow. 
level 50. A Thunderbolt is gonna do... Guaranteed to hit KO. You know, a Bullet Punch is definitely the worth it thing, because then we can come in and KO him uh, later on. So Bullet Punch goes off, not enough to kill, gonna go for the Scald. And that's gonna take me out, but unfortunately for him, does he have a... I think Hippodon's dead. Yeah, Hippodon's dead, right? Did he switch? Yeah, Hippodon's dead. Okay. So after lefties, it will be close for sure. But I think a Thunderbolt will be enough. So we can go into D. And if it really isn't, we have Quick Attack on our Pinsir. So that's good. The switch? Okay, we actually have a pretty good matchup at this point. We have... We can sack Latias if needed. And then uh, Diego here takes care of... It will take care of Thunders, probably two hits. Manaphy, it should be able to take out now. I mean, 80%? Is that 80%? I mean, if we get, like, a mid-roll, I think we'll be able to hit him and kill him. Um, quick Attack should be able to straight up knock out his... Uh... Ooh, oh, it's close, but he actually lives. He's going to go for the Ice Beam. We should be able to live that. Actually, we should definitely be able to live that. That does nothing. I don't know if that was a misclick or... We're able to take out Manaphy, or at least, you know, hit something. Like I said, we always have that free switch. Yeah, he's going to switch. Okay, he's going to go into his Chestnut, which I can just go into Latias. Really, I can just go into Latias um, and Psychic or something, which I'm going to do. Uh, if he kills my Latias, he kills my Latias. Which would suck. But, hey. Now, luckily for us, we're also... He's going to Stone Edge. Alright, smart. Will that kill? No. Cool. Alright, now, luckily for us, actually, we we have Healing Wish. So, and also, our... Oh, we have Psy Shock, not Psychic. Tabes, why did you miss Jen? I'm going to kill Tabes. That's okay, though. Uh, Psy Shock, which will do more damage, actually. I don't know. I'll go in Jen. Alright, check this real quick. Ladias, OU, Offensive Support, right, level 50, we have Life Orb, yes, two f I don't know how much we have in Special Attack, actually, uh, however, we're going to Chestnut, Physically Defensive, right, you know, he probably, I'm going to drop the Draco, possible 6 hit, oh no, he's level 100, I was like, what, 6 hit KO Draco? That is not right. Guaranteed to hit KO. You know, I'm gonna drop the Draco. Just because Quick Attack is still a thing. He's gonna draw. Okay. Um, Manaphy is gonna take the Draco like there's no tomorrow. I wish I Psychic. Or Psy Shocked. Definitely was Psy Shocked. Shish, 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 shocked. Now we know for sure this is going to be a damn close battle. Take some damage. He can go into his... Connor, yeah. I think I just have to die here. And then I can go into Raikou. Which he'll probably switch. Hmm. This is actually pretty scary. Okay, I'm going to healing defog defog. I'll just defog. Just in case something happens. I don't know. Hurricane miss? No, did not miss. Yeah, Hurricane, I was assuming he would go for the Hurricane. Just because... Well... It would make sense. Because um, obviously, if I switched, you know, to catch the U-turn or the knockoff with Dan, he would be able to just kind of... Eat that. Um, anyways, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice because I'm like 100% sure he's going to switch. Or I can go for the Volt Switch. That's the thing to do. Volt switch indeed, yeah. A volt switch. He's gonna withdraw, of course. Yeah, so we get the volt switch off. That that was a good move by us, actually. Chestnut comes in. Our volt switch is gonna go off. We get the free switch into pincer now, which benefits us actually a ton. How fast is Jolly Pincer? Again, actually, I can just check. Or oh, let me just check it. Smug on real quick.
Um, anyways, we're gonna go into Dan here, Obvi. We're 105, yeah, so he's still faster. So we'd have to quick attack. However, we can just Mega Evolve and return right here. And that's definitely enough to take him out. For sure, that's four times super effective, right? He can spike his shield. He's gonna withdraw. I don't know why he did that, in all honesty. He might. This will probably kill him. Actually, this is a really close battle. I don't know what will happen. If this kills, then we win. If this puts him in quick attack range, we win. That's not even close. I have to pull the moves here. I have to go into Diego again if I want to win. Because his chestnut can block out me completely. Hurricane, please. Pressure, which is nice, I guess. Heat wave. Okay, yeah, that was smart. Heat wave, smart. Can we live it? Can we live it? Can we live it? Yes, we live it. I have to Thunderbolt, though. I have to hit in power. Yes, I have to hit in power because I'm. I just realized if I go back in to. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I just ruined the battle. Ah, oh, dude, I. Yeah, I think we lost at this point. I think it's game over. I messed up because I. If I switch back in, I'm dead because of rocks. I forgot about rocks. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I think that's gonna be it, actually. Ooh, it was a close one, though. Super crit, flinch, explosion, freeze, please. No, train punch. Yeah. That's depressing. Alright, Raikou. You did good, though. You did good, Raikou. Um, yeah, Dan's at 63 HP, I think. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Dan, why? Why? But that's gonna be the battle. That was really fun. I actually had a lot of fun in that battle. It was close. We both, like, had points where we were setting up on each other, and then the other one kind of, like, figured out a way to counter it and come back. So that was really cool. I hope you all enjoyed that. Remember to check out Sheer Force's channel in the link in the description, along with his Twitter. Have a great day. Ugh, I don't have an accent. Have a great day, guys. Remember to leave a like if you like, leave a dislike if you dislike, subscribe if you want, unsubscribe if you want. But as always, let the outro roll!